Next month, Illinois will hold its primary election, and the right to vote has come a long way, especially for women. In today's Page Turners, it's a celebration of women's right to vote. And Carol Inskeep with the library and Trisha Crowley with the League of Women Voters of Champaign County are here with me now. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. So this is a big anniversary for women's right to vote this year. Yes, and big anniversary for the League of Women Voters. Our anniversary was February 14th, and we're going to celebrate that at our book club event at the library. At starting at 6.15, we'll have cake, and we'll uh, have the mayor of Champaign-Urbana, and uh, Deb Finan and Diane Marlin will be dropping by just to celebrate the League of Women Voters for 100 years. So you're in the League of Women Voters. What do you guys do? Well, uh, we register. We've registered, for instance, we've registered over 200 high school seniors in this last couple of months. Wow. We do, we provide uh, nonpartisan um, information to voters by doing candidate forums with uh, candidates for different offices, answering questions from the audience. Those are um, taped and they're available on uh, the league's website, so you can see them even if you can't come to the event. And we... Uh, encourage people to get out and vote. You so would, register, yeah. research, vote. And it's always a good time to celebrate with cake. Yes, right. <laughs> always cake. And yes. you guys are collaborating together. Yeah. Um, and you are having kind of a book um, party. Yes, right after the celebration, we'll do a book discussion. There will be uh, displays by both the Champaign County Historical Society and the Museum of the Grand Prairie. And then we'll do a book discussion of this book, The Woman's Hour, which we have multiple copies of available at the library, including as an e-book or a downloadable audio book. And it's a book about that climactic finish where women finally achieve the right to vote. Wonderful. So you're encouraging people to get the book and read it and then come participate in the discussion. Yeah, get the book in advance and read it. But even if you haven't read it, I'm confident that discussion is going to be very interesting. There are a lot of issues in that book that even though it's 100 years ago, they sound pretty familiar. Polarization, big money in politics, questions about the role of religion in politics and about race. And so even if someone hasn't had a chance to read the book, I think they will enjoy the discussion and get a lot out of it. Well, and this is also a great opportunity to browse, um, you know, some of the local history that's going to be there at the, um, at the event. Absolutely. And it's always a chance uh, you can ask about other resources, including genealogy or other issues from our archives. Well, wonderful. Tell me about Teresa Barnes. Teresa Barnes is a U of I professor from History and Gender and Women's Studies, and she's especially interested in the role that African American men and women played in promoting the role to vote, and also how racism played out in that whole struggle for women's mm -hmm. rights. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay, and so let's remind everybody when this is so they can make plans to come and have cake and, and fellowship. March 3rd. Um, at 6.15, we're having cake. At 7 o'clock, we're starting the uh, book uh, book discussion. Okay, well, it's going to be a great time celebrating women's right to vote and um, everything happening here with y'all. So we appreciate you and your collaboration, teaming Thank up you together. So much. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you so much. If you need any more information about what's happening, we'll connect you after today's show over at CILiving.tv.